He so. looks like a Lunchables dude, though, doesn't he? Now, <laughs> I think that. that should be like his next album, Lunchables. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to another installment of Are You Feeling the Goods? Today, we are so excited to have the first guest of 2021, the one and only, the man with the plan, Mr. DJ Williams. Hey. Hey. Welcome Thanks to the show, time. DJ. Hey, Sheila, what's up? How are you? I'm so good. We're so happy you're here. If y'all don't know DJ, he is a guitar hero in my opinion um with his own stuff we'll talk about later dj williams and then with carl denson's tiny universe and and my homie my homie so we're happy yeah. that you're here if you don't know ya or nah i'm gonna give you a question you're gonna answer ya yeah, yeah. or nah. nah and then we're gonna discuss or not nah. all it. right are you feeling the good with dj williams here we go question number one so, DJ, in a Fuji Research Institute study, they asked 2,000 Japanese adults to rate the greatest Japanese inventions of the 21st century. Turns out that ramen instant noodles was voted the best invention of the 20th century in Japan. Did they get it right, DJ? Yeah really? or not? Nah? I'm going to totally go with yeah on this one because it's such... It's, it sounds like such a simple thing. And what domestically we know ramen as is like the instant stuff you see in a package. But like the real deal stuff is actually like a really sophisticated and intimate food with like a lot of complexities of flavors, starting with the broth to like what kind of wheat they use in the noodles. I could talk about this all day. So. I knew you could, that's why. <laughs> but it's wild that like with all the technological advances from yeah. Japan that they themselves voted ramen. Exactly. And it's actually, compared to how old a lot of Japanese things are, it's a fairly young commodity in Japan, too. Right, right, right. Yeah. You're right. Do you, want, do you know what number two and three were voted? Uh, I'm not going to guess. I don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> number two was karaoke. Okay, that makes sense. And number three was headphone stereo sets. Ooh, oh, nice. What are you saying? So, That's amazing. All right, number Ooh. two. As of January 1st, 2021, F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby has now entered public domain, meaning the copyright has expired. It is now up for grabs without a fee. Do we need to see Kermit the Frog as Jay Gatsby? Yeah or nah? I'm going to go with nah, nah on this one. Mm -hmm. And as much as I am a huge fan of the Muppets and everything they do is classic, it's just something should be left alone. And I think they mess with too many things nowadays anyway. Like, let's just stick with with the originals and let's appreciate them for what they are and let's get more original ideas happening moving wow. forward. Let's and I'm gonna say not. Okay. Unless okay. Michael Jackson was around to scoop this one up too. Hey. That's too soon. <laughs> oh, really? Moving on. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, somewhat popular topic as of late. Let's just get it out the way. Do you believe in aliens? Yeah or not? I do. You do. All right. I so then, then humor me this. Okay. Is it possible that Earth is like one of those uncontacted South American tribes? Like all the other planets, the whole galaxy knows that we're here, but they've agreed not to contact us until we figure it out for ourselves. Is that possible? Yeah. I think that's no. totally possible. There's actually like a great meme about like, some aliens coming by and looking down on Earth and saying like "nah" and keep on. And they just kind of like go back into space. So. Yeah, right. Like, and I'm I'm totally yeah. on board with that that kind of mentality because right. I think we got a, we got a lot of things to get together before Dude. we. Dude, I mean, yeah. So all the other planets, they're like, we're just gonna let them either self yeah. self destruct or. Yeah. We'll yeah, they're probably like five billion light years, however you want to measure them ahead of us. So. Right. So probably right. just look at as like the young kid who wants to tag along with the, the big boys and it's just not we're not there yet we're not even close not even close yeah. uh, moving on uh with the COVID era came a loss of of many of the staples in our society and i'm sure you've experienced this perhaps that namely one of the biggest things we lost this year is or last year i should say is wearing pants well and i'm not talking about sweatpants i'm not talking about yeah. pj's pants yeah so dj do you still wear pants yeah or not 
Yeah, like every I get dressed every single day, like I'm going out whether I leave the house or not. It's just a thing. Oh, look at you! I'm old. I'm old fashioned. That's great. Yeah, and yes, I am wearing pants right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you. I mean, bras have gone out the window. That's for sure. I can get that. Yeah, free the ladies. I get free, that. Free the ladies. But okay, so yeah, DJ, you still wear pants? Mm-hmm. Great. Every single day. I love it. All right, so you ace the yarna, as you do, yes. um, and we're you know we're a game oriented show over here. I love that. Cheap sessions. So and today the game we're going to play is musicians and dishes. This game I'm going to give you a famous musician. You have to guess what their favorite dish is. Here we go. Musicians and dishes with DJ Williams, Good. David Bowie. I'm gonna say like bangers and mash or something like something like comfort food for him. Good guess, yeah. Chef Kai. Oh, that was actually gonna be my second guess. I'm not even kidding. Nicki Minaj. Like fried chicken and mac and cheese. Curry chicken and roti. Ooh. She's got that Caribbean. She does. She does. I forgot about that. Prince. Pancakes. Yay! Great. I got that right. Of course. Of course it is. Of course. Whitney Houston. Oh, sushi. Ding, 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 ding. Jack okay. White. Like a Lunchable. <laughs> you Lunchables guy? <laughs> I wish it was. It's guac. <laughs> what is it? Guac. Guacamole. Oh, of course. Of course. That's a hard right. one, actually. Ghost face killer. Something with potatoes. Hmm. Fries. French fries. And. Oh. Uh, ziti. Ooh, the big ziti. Big ziti. Or just any kind of ziti. He, nice. I don't know. He loves ziti. Yeah, let's say you got the pancakes, you got the sushi, shepherd's nice. pie, bangers and mash. You you are a star. Is, you, you picked a good topic. I like this. No, nope. I th I, do I know my customers? <laughs> you <or> do. <laughs> but mm -hmm. we always ask every guest at the end of Are You Feeling the Goods, which of your goods, DJ Williams, are you feeling the most right now? At this very moment, the, my favorite goods I'm feeling is my sobriety. 130 days. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Feeling good. Feel making music as the best version of myself. I feel like too. DJ is about to release his solo album, Short Stories. When's Short that coming stories. out? Uh, the official date will be February 2nd, but we're gonna start pre-sailing uh, vinyls and uh, give away a tune on January 15th. So in 10 days or. 20 days, whenever we're gonna get this thing out. DJ Williams short stories. And just so y'all know, all you Chief Sesh fans out there, DJ is one of the first people to play some of some of my tunes ever that have never oh, been yeah. before. Beautiful on music, by the way. I always fucking love playing with you, DJ. So thank you for coming on the show, for being a dope human. You I too. Love you. Yeah, let's DJ play DJ Williams, everybody.